24 hour news coming to you live from the Russian capital. It is 4 a.m. in Moscow. You're with our team. Russia will start a full scale upgrade of its military in 2011. NATO's eastern expansion, according to President Medvedev, is one of the reasons such a program has become necessary. Marie Finoshna reports. A smaller, better armed, and more flexible armed force. Russia's president says the country's military will be upgraded to respond to growing threats from without. There still remains the threats coming from local conflicts as well as from international terrorism. Attempts to expand NATO close to the borders of our country have not been stopped. All of this demands a new perspective and quality modernization of our armed forces. The eastward expansion of the military alliance is a principal concern for Russia. Even before the Baltic states joined NATO, the alarm bells were ringing. But the prospect of the former Soviet republics of Ukraine and Georgia gaining membership is more than Moscow can bear. Medvedev just wanted to remind that NATO's key purpose is to counter terrorism and not to enlarge and go further to the east. One, zero. To make matters worse, the U.S. is planning to install a missile shield in Eastern Europe, to which Russia is adamantly opposed. The combination of factors motivated the Kremlin to modernize its forces and to advertise that it was bulking up its deterrence. The primary goal is to improve the combat readiness of our troops, a substantial one, mainly in the area of strategic nuclear arms. The new administration in Washington has been sending broadly positive signals, saying it wishes to reset the relationship. But despite the goodwill, some analysts are skeptical the two sides will be able to compromise on the sharpest issues. The main obstacle, the essence of the issue of the relationship between the United States and Russia is NATO expansion. Mm. But there are not many people in the United States who are willing to discuss that. And I haven't heard anything from the new administration, the Obama administration, that suggests that it's prepared to say to Moscow, OK, no more NATO expansion. Medvedev is due to hold his first face-to-face -face meeting with Obama in London at the G20 summit at the beginning of April. What was likely to be a complex dialogue has now been given an extra twist by Russia's new military agenda. Marie